C100. So yeah. let's bring her, bring in Carrie Underwood. Bring her in. Oh my gosh. Oh, she looks beautiful. Wow. Look, she looks fabulous. Look Carrie Underwood. Yeah. Hey, look at that. <laughs> Come on in, get cozy. She I have a special I have a special intro that's produced just for you. Whoa, okay. Now are you gonna ruin your hair if you put headphones yes, on? Completely. Can you put them underneath? No. Can we? No. You can do them under the chin thing. Does that work? Yeah. Yeah, you can do that. How about Maybe. that? How's, How's that? that? I'll just have to hold there them up go. there the whole time. Can you, can you hear yourself okay? Yes, right. I can. Okay, let's make it official. She's the small town girl who entered a big time singing contest. Carrie Underwood. Carrie Underwood. The most successful American Idol alumna. Her fourth album. Blown away. Blown away. Blown away. Comes out Tuesday. Tomorrow. Please welcome. Multi-platinum country star. Carrie. Carrie. Carrie, Carrie Underwood. Elvis Duran in the morning show. And we welcome you, Carrie Underwood. Thank you. <laughs> good to see you. A good, a good intro. You like that? Thank you. Yeah. Yeah, we go all out here. Yes, I noticed. Have you seen all the all the gifts that were were uh, were showering you? That, today? I'm I'm impressed. I will come here every day. Yeah, she wanted to know if we had Hello Kitty refrigerators all the time. No, no, <laughs> it's just to bribe you. There's food outside. Yeah, and, yeah, and it's all vegan because we know I you're know. vegan. I know. Thank you. Now, uh, so explain to people who may be a little slow on the on the vegan tip. Vegan oh. means, of course, no meat. Yes. But no dairy. Yeah. Anything from an animal. Yes. How about honey? Well, how, it, honey it's from kind a bee. Of, well, see, you you can have your you can be as vegan as you want to be. If there's like honey in something and I want it, I'm not gonna be like really weird about it. Like honey cured bacon, for instance. That would be a no no. No no. Okay. <laughs> bacon, honey. Bacon. Um. Yeah. But there's you'd be amazed. There's some stuff. I mean. You know, it, Why? Is it for health reasons? Is it for love of animals? Why, Carrie Underwood, are you such a vegan? Um, because I'm scared of food. Um, <laughs> no, well, you hear things every single day on the news about you know this outbreak and that's going on and this chicken plant was closed down because whatever. Right. I saw. I've, I watch too much TV. That's did why. you see Doctor Oz's chicken show? That's what did it for me. Well, see, I saw one on like 2020, something okay. like that, and yeah. it was it, like it, it was just gross. Devastating. I was like, boof. <laughs> I mean, just take away the, like the chickens and all that, and it was just nasty. Yeah. So, Your husband is still a meat eater, though, right? Yes. No, yeah. Driving yeah. crazy. Do you, does he have to brush his teeth before he kisses you after a steak dinner? <laughs> no, I mean, if, if no, it's so you, not. So, he, he, so you've tasted meat in his mouth then? Pr probably. Oh, that's, you know what? That's me too. It's a valid gross. question. The guy still eats meat. And, and by a, the way, and by the way, you, you asked a question about her husband brushing his teeth. He's a hockey player. He doesn't have teeth. <laughs> <laughs> well, he's got them. They don't come out. <laughs> really? that, would, that would be kind of a deal breaker, I think. Well, you know what? And, and I heard he may be having to go to Canada soon. Is this true? Are you guys moving to Canada? Is this what I'm oh. hearing? Oh my God! What? Someone fed me. I'm what? <laughs> I'm moving to Canada. <laughs> this is Again. Where the begin. Sorry, Carrie, you're Again? moving. To, you're moving to Canada. Yeah. Also, Froggy is with us in Miami. It's very dark. There. I know. What's going? It's it is dark. It's very rainy there. Yes, Froggy. Uh, what's up? Actually, he was in Canada before. I was going to say you must yeah. have a lot of pull because he was in Ottawa. <laughs> now he just happens to get traded to Nashville, where you guys, where you are. Yeah. I, you must have a lot of pull in the national in the National Hockey League to get your husband traded to where you are. Oh, I was blamed for that for a while. Um, he was a a loved member in the Ottawa community. Um, he played there for like ten years, and um, yeah, got traded to Nashville of all places. Is he a Canadian? Wow. Wow. Yeah. See, I don't trust Canadians. <laughs> I think they're just they're just too nice and they they're never really up to any bad. Yeah. They're they're planning something awful. Those Canadians. Uh, I mean if yeah, maybe. Are you competitive <laughs> Mine's with him? not. Like do you sit at home watching him like play and go and start yelling at the television and then when he comes home you give him pointers on the sport? Oh gosh, I definitely yell at the television. Like last night I was I had to listen to the game because they didn't have it on in my hotel room. Right. And I didn't make other plans to like find a sports bar or something. <laughs> to go to um so i had to listen to it which is horrible to listen to hockey like awful right and um so i finally had to quit um but i don't give him i don't give him pointers did they, no. win, did they win or lose last night he lost. Yeah. Nah, it happened. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, by the way if you're wondering why carrie underwood's here other than we love carrie underwood uh the new album blown away drops tomorrow it does yeah a little nervous on the eve of the drop yeah why? i mean just because you what if nobody buys it <laughs> yeah, it's scary. I mean, yeah, I, you just yeah. never, I, you never know. There are no guarantees in life or in music, and it it can get scary. But really, there's You're, there's no turning back now. No, I mean, I'm, I'm sure we're not the only people that that respond the way we we just did 
to your comment, what if no one buys it? I mean, really? You think it's going to be I a mean, long shot that anyone's going to touch this thing? I don't, like, legitimately think that no one will like it, you know, but what if... What if? What if? <laughs> you need meat. I think the lack of meat is making you nuts. Speaking of, here's what we have for you today. Okay. Carrie Underwood. Our friends at Cafe Metro, one of our favorite places here in New York, yes. uh, they brought a total vegan breakfast we up did. here for you. Also, our friends at Sugar Rush, they baked uh, these amazing vegan cupcakes. And also these things called pup cakes. Yeah, they told us to stay away from the ones without sprinkles because they're pup cakes. Yeah, I think they're made out of real puppy. We're not sure. <laughs> I'm not quite sure. Uh, also, our, our friends in Oklahoma City, a place called Sportique, they sent you some uh, some team t-shirts and tank tops because we know you're from Oklahoma. Yes. Very and exciting. I know you love Hello Kitty. So Hello Kitty sent us the Hello Kitty mini fridge. And Hello Kitty Band-Aids and stuffed animals. Yes. <laughs> of course, the fridge spill is, is filled with smart water. Right. Which you work for smart water? Yes. Well, I, I want to see you carry that fridge out of here. <laughs> you, you know, <laughs> don't underestimate me. Right. I'm kind of a hoss. <laughs> Put it on the I could do it. Yeah. I could do it, yeah. So, okay, with the album coming out tomorrow, you're, of course, you're in gear and you're, tr I guess, hitting the road. You're doing a lot of these interviews. And uh, is this an exciting, good thing, or do you do you kind of roll your eyes and go, "Oh God, here we go again"? What's no, it like for you? No, this is really good. It's been I, it's been a while for me since I, I had an album out. I've I've been lucky enough to fill my time with lots of different projects, but it's uh, it's been a while since I've had a new album. So I'm I'm very I'm excited. And the album, what do you, what's your message in this thing? Is there is there a theme? Is there a what what are you trying to tell us with with the songs that you've collected for this 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 uh, album? Um, I mean, nothing specific. We, we kind of go all over the place, to be honest, in the album. It's very diverse. Really? And, oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. We got what do you, some... Your definition of diverse as applied to your album means what? Um, well, we go from, we, st we open the album, it's dark and it's stormy and it's really dramatic and it's really visual. And, and that's the only kind of tie that goes throughout the whole album is so many of the songs are very descriptive. And they're just like reading a really awesome book, you know, or seeing, seeing some great movie. They're just really visual. Um, but we, we go from dark and stormy to really cool and organic to kind of redneck at the end. And we just kind of take you on a journey. So you're proud to say that you have redneck in your blood. Um, yeah, I mean, it's kind of uh, unavoidable. <laughs> well, well Red, no. I'm, see, I know a lot of people from Texas and from Oklahoma. I'm from Texas. I don't consider myself ha having any redneck in my blood at all. You took the Texas out of the boy? Or a little bit. <laughs> I mean, if I have too much to drink, I get kind of hickey. There you go. <laughs> when I when I go home or when I uh, when I talk to my, my mom or somebody on the phone for a while, Mike can tell. And my, my husband, he's like, you've... Uh, who you been talking to? You start talking like this. I do. Right. I do. See, the trick, and I, and I teach this to the morning show a lot, because they're all from the Northeast, and you and I are the only two in this room who are from the South. If you want to talk like a redneck, you just don't move your mouth. You yeah. just keep your teeth <laughs> clenched together. Yeah. You just talk yeah. like this. Yeah. And everyone's like, what'd you That'll say? Work. Yeah, what are you going to do? I know exactly what you said. <laughs> <laughs> you did. Yeah. But, but because my husband is Canadian, I swear I've got this little weird, like, Tennessee, Oklahoma, Canada accent. Going on. Accent. See, so you yeah. got it. <laughs> when you hang around your husband's hockey buddies, do they check check you out a lot? And do you catch them doing that? No, no? I don't think They're so. They're not like, hey, look at the hot wife. I don't think no. so. Because hockey wives in general are hot. Okay. Oh. Like, oh. They're all yeah. hot. Okay. See, the thing about hockey players is this. First of all, I I've been to a lot of locker rooms. Don't ask why. <laughs> <laughs> hockey players, after a game, smell worse than any yeah. other player. Why is that? Um, I mean, it, they sweat a lot. That a equipment, lot. you cannot sanitize it. Yeah. It has, like, funk on it from many a game, you yeah. know? I don't know how they do it. How can no, they stand I've, themselves? I mean, I don't... That doesn't come home with them. Oh, he, he's not allored to bring his equipment home? He, well, he, no, 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 it stays at the, at the oh, rank. It's not washes, like he's not allowed. He okay. washes the funk off before he... <laughs> someone, someone does. I wouldn't want to have that job. <laughs> oh. But I, I know that the lock... I've been in many locker rooms as well, but probably oh. for different reasons. Because <laughs> <laughs> um, we play in these venues that are, like, hockey venues. Right. So sometimes they'll put us in the dressing rooms, like in their dressing rooms, for right. our dressing rooms, and it's stinky. It stinks. Oh, damn. Yeah. And will you clarify the beard thing? Because I think a lot of hockey players, I think they grow like the playoff they beard. Do. And now I heard that you were a fan of it, that you're not a fan of it. So can you clarify that well, for us? Well, it all started, I never thought one smart aleck comment would get such a pick yeah. up. Um, but they were like, oh, but you hockey playoffs. I was like, oh yeah, it's so great. But hockey playoffs, me, 
mean hockey beard and I don't know how I feel about that and then it was like Gary hates hockey beard <laughs> and that's it took on this life of its own and I I mean Mike my husband is a handsome guy mm-hmm. he's he's one of the good looking ones and <laughs> when he when he grows out the beard it's just not him so much he doesn't like it either you know but he um i I support the tradition yes well i mean uh you know i think on the other hand you should be allowed to just grow your leg hair out (laughs) during hockey season see i'm on the road like promoting and (laughs) i'm just punishing myself my when i sleep at night and my legs touch my left leg's punishing my right leg leg, leg, just trying to come up with a solution for you (laughs) by the way back to the album there is one song on there that reminds you of your grandmother and uh, you get very emotional talking about your grandmother and this song called forever changed and people wonder sometimes like and an artist puts out an album do the songs really mean anything to them and out of all the songs on this album is this the one that means the most to you and why um i mean i i'd say it's the hardest one to get through there are several songs that are definitely like close to my heart um but that one is just it's a story it's one of those circle of life stories you know and the, there's this beautiful young girl and she gets married and she has a baby and then she's kind of towards the end of her life so it's just one of those that's you know, oh, I can't hear it. Yeah. I'm such a crybaby. Cry. I can't. I cry yeah. at everything. So I'll, I'll stay away I, from that I, one. I don't cry. <laughs> and that, that one hurts me. So Really? Yeah. Well, well, Carrie, do you think it's necessary to open your heart and expose these innermost feelings and thoughts to your fans? I mean, is it, is it important to you to, to connect with your fans like that? Yeah. I mean, when you have a song, because that, that really is one of those songs I think everybody in some way can relate to, because um, we're all... We all have parents. Um, so it's it's one of those I, I really do feel like they can relate to it. Um, it but even, even, if it, even if it hurts, it's important to have those things. Because it's important to me, too. Because that's the stuff that people are, are, bleh, can't talk, will remember. Yeah. Not the silly fun stuff we do. The stuff that's really impactful and meaningful. What do you love most about your job, Carrie? What is it you really, really love about your job? Um, it's different from day to day. You never know what you're going to be doing, you know, and, and my favorite thing is just actually being on stage. That's awesome. There's no other feeling like that in the whole world. What is it about being on stage? I mean, when you walk out there, actually you, you anticipate walking out there. I'm sure that walking out on the stage, that's where the adrenaline starts pumping and yeah. you get all excited. Is there a way to describe that to all of us who really don't go out on stage and sing? It's a chance to just n- get away. And it's so weird. I don't know. Um, it's don't a chance that. to not be anything that's going wrong in your day. If you have a fight with somebody, if you are fight with your mom or whatever, something's not great. It just all goes away for that 90 plus minutes that you're on stage. And so reality kind of, is sort of suspended for Yeah, and you get to be somebody so much cooler than the person you actually are. <laughs> you're because such the, a badass though when you get on stage. Well, you the know? people, it, you can be. It's yeah. a character. It's like you put on this mask. And I was going to ask you, know. you, do you have an alter ego? You know how Beyonce has like Sasha Fierce. Do you have like an alter ego for Carrie Underwood on stage? Um, I understand that. I don't have like a name for it. You should name her. I should. Yeah. <laughs> what should we'll I name her? We'll come up with I'll something. I would nasty. need help. That's that's serious. <laughs> okay, we'll have the fans vote. Okay. We'll have them come okay. up with the alter ego name. Yes. Yeah. Yeah, but I, I understand that mm-hmm. whole concept because you do have to like put yourself aside. Yeah. So yeah. a lot of people ask us, like, how do we come in here every day, Monday through Friday, at this god awful hour? We have to wake up and be happy and everyone, everything. I love it because it's our, this is our departure from our reality, so I can sort of yeah. actually see what you're saying. And lots of alcohol and meds. That's true in any, yeah, um, any you know, career. There is right. a there is a school on Staten Island, PS22, which has become world famous. These kids and their teacher yeah. are known around the world for their music and uh, for these videos they're putting out on YouTube. They're very viral. Yeah. You actually stopped by Staten Island's PS22. I did. How was your visit? Why were you there? Um, uh, well, we had kind of heard they were working on doing one of my songs, so I'm already here anyway, so why not go by and actually sing it with them? I'm going to play a piece of it for you. It's really good in my Great kids, aren't they? Yeah. 
Yeah, yeah. They sing clang, clang, clang when goes the trolley for my birthday. It's so cute. <laughs> yeah. and they were doing like all their hand motions in the back. Oh, like, yeah. They, they get into coming. it. Yeah, they totally they get got into, into it. it. No, you know, so these kids love you. Here they are living uh, in New York City, but they're fans of yours. And it's more proof that, you know, I, see, I don't think of you as a country artist. I don't think of people as artists in these boxes. Mm -hmm. But we so always put someone in a category. Yeah. Do you consider yourself a country artist or what do you consider yourself, Carrie? Um, definitely country. Um, that's what I grew up listening to. That's what's in my heart. And, and I feel like those, that particular group of people... They're just warm and friendly and talented. Everybody writes. Everybody sings. It's 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 real. Um, we're not we're not lying to people, you know. And we don't need a, we don't need a bunch of other stuff going on. Like oh, everybody you don't just like auto tune. Come on, I, I don't allow my producer to use auto tune. Wow. I'm that's like, like that's, that's that's a the no truth, no. Though. We do not use auto tune ever. Auto tune <laughs> equals bacon. It's not allowed. Wow. <laughs> yes. We are, we have a vegan record going on. Yes. I guess yes. So. I find it very cool that you still watch American Idol. You were so upset when Colton Dixon got voted off. Like, do you have a feeling who's going to win? Do you think you know who's going to win? Um, Every time I think I know, it's, they get voted off. So I, I quit. Um, I, I'm very supportive of all of all of them. You know, the top ten really were, truly, everybody was different. Everybody occupied their own space. And they were really, really good. That's you so know, cool. not all of the, uh, the Idol alumni openly thank American Idol sometimes when they win awards and oh, stuff weird. like that. You you always seem to have no problem saying, oh, by the way, American Idol, thank you so oh, much, yeah. when, when needed to do so. Uh, I mean, do you have a, a thought about those who try to maybe cover up American Idol in their past in their cat box? Um, I mean, it's it's it would be hard for me to speculate why anybody actually does that. Um, Go ahead, do I it. Know, no, <laughs> no, no. Um, all I know is is that's where I came from, and that's what I owe everything to. And um, and I love I love being from that family. Yeah. Oh, great. Well, Every, you owe everything. Well, I don't know if I agree with that. <laughs> you, a lot of this came from within you, too. Well, I never would have made it. I never would have been doing anything in the music business at all whatsoever. I wouldn't be pitching songs. I wouldn't be I wouldn't be in Nashville. At Weren't all. you nervous too at first because you thought Simon didn't like country artists and well, somebody told you that? Well, it, I mean, it was kind of well known on the show already that he didn't. And then when I was trying out, somebody was like, you do know hmm. Simon Cowell hates country music. Wow. wow. And I was like, yes. <laughs> I don't know why I'm here. <laughs> and you're returning to the show this week. It's almost like going yeah, back to your old is. high school, you it know. Is. But now, do you think that the show is different without Simon? Do you think that these kids have it a little bit easier now that he's not there? Um, I don't know. I mean, they, they deal with their own. I appreciated Simon Cowell because I felt like he had us all help get our thick skins you know mm -hmm. he he was the one he was in the beginning it was boot camp right we learned everything we needed to learn within a very short amount of time and uh and he definitely helped deal with all the aftermath because people say some awful things yeah <laughs> and you you have to learn how to deal with that or else you're just going to be miserable all the time and, and he was the one that was trial by fire yeah so i, I do feel like they miss out on that a little yeah. bit do you still have the focus they gave you didn't they give you a Ford oh, Focus? Oh, no. I got a Mustang. Oh, you got a Mustang? And I do still have oh. it. And you do yeah. still have it. Oh. Nice. Oh. There you go. <laughs> no. I would, see, I would give, they, they would give me like a Dodge Caravan. <laughs> <laughs> a minivan. It has to be Ford. Yeah, oh, oh, that's right. Okay, Ford. sorry. Yeah. Uh, by the way, Carrie, <laughs> Carrie Underwood's new album, Blown Away, drops tomorrow. I'm about to play Good Girl from the uh, album in just a second. Uh, but I want you to meet your number one fan oh my gosh. in the room, Greg T., the round-headed frat boy. He can't even look at her. He's sweating. Look it at her. It has been a very <laughs> difficult morning. He, he can't even look. Why can't you look her in the eye? Look her in the eye. You know, what we do here, you know, we, we do this on a daily basis. So you don't really get that giddy or crazy about celebrities that come up here. But, I mean, you know, like, I mean, look, I, I love you. You know, look at the shirt. Big fan. He wore a Nashville shirt. Well, because if you're going to go to a baseball game, you wear your baseball jersey, you know? And if you're going to have a country artist here, you got to, you know, show the pride. So I wore Nashville, of course, just for you. Thank you. Oh, by the way, so by the way, I don't know if this will impress you or disgust you, but you are his free pass from his wife. By the way. Oh wow. So yeah. if you're, you know, your husband, you know, if I'm your husband's free pass, wow. I'm your free pass. So. All right. Um, you're not my husband's free pass. No, no, no. <laughs> so wait. So are you offering up your wife to her husband? I'm no, trying what to. I was saying, you know, I'm so nervous. So nervous. Right. I never get nervous. But oh, well, here we go. Uh, Greg T is now going to yeah. read. Uh, you have five. Yeah, uh, four, right? Four. For uh, Carrie Underwood, questions from the common. Man. Oh, oh, here we go. All right, here Common we go. questions. Common man. Here we go. 
the ATM. Now, for instance, I walk up to an ATM, I put my card in, I press my four-digit code, and I get my money. How does Carrie Underwood get money? Do you go to an ATM machine and just put in your four-digit code and get your money out? That or um, when you're at the grocery store and you it says, would you like cash back? You say yes. So you do your wow. own, you do your own grocery shopping. You love going to the grocery oh, store. Oh, I love the grocery store. Grocery stores are fun. <laughs> it's one of my wow. favorite. I will spend hours in the grocery Me store. Me too. Well, we're learning so much. Okay, okay. A question so number two from the common man. Are you reading Fifty Shades of Grey? No. Why? You don't know what the book is. Uh, you oh. have to get it. Pick it's very, it up. Yeah, it's yeah. very dirty. I don't know. <laughs> wow. Uh, it, it's a huge, huge book, and women around the world are reading it because it's this. Lady who goes to this crazy yeah. affair with this crazy guy. Every other page, they're doing it. Yeah, right. oh. it's a must read. <laughs> okay, okay. Uh, yeah. next question from the wow. common the common man. <laughs> well, I recently asked Donald Trump, and I found out that he wears Fruit of the Loom. Oh. I I asked DJ Paulie D, and we found out that he wears Calvin Klein's. Okay. Well, what type of underwear does Carrie Underwood wear? Ooh. I think I'm kind of a Victoria's Secret girl. All right. there you it's, go. it's everywhere. Yeah. Me too. You know? Yeah. Wow. <laughs> yeah. I'm sweating right now. Sweating. And, and your final. <laughs> Question from the common man. <laughs> well, when I, when I was in school, we had a kid, and his last name was Underwood. Go mm -hmm. figure. So we used to call him Underwater, Underdog, Underachiever, all kinds of underpants. So yeah. what did kids tease you about your last name in high school? I was definitely underwear. You were underwear. Yeah. Carrie and Underwear. It, 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 oh. it evolved from Carrie Underwear into Scary Underwear. Oh. Oh. Wow. I, just have, there you go. I just have Scary Victoria's Victoria Secret, I guess. Wow. wow, look at that. Well, thank you very much. I, you know, you, this is really wonderful. <laughs> On behalf of the common man, Greg. Right yes. It was very nice to speak with you. You don't feel a connection here between I, you and I? A little I? bit. A little bit. Uh, I, feel, I know I feel a connection. All right, thank you. I'm okay. glad in between you, you know, because I know that he's yeah, pretty the, hard to I'm surprised you're not, like, being vaporized by the sparks that Seriously. are flying. <laughs> I used to play ice right hockey, now. and your husband is an ice hockey right, player. Thank you, Greg. Okay. Great tea, everyone. Yes, the right. common man. See you later. Very nice. Thank you, Greg. I watched American Idol. Thank, thank you, Greg. Thank, thank you. <laughs> the sparks are causing a brush fire. So, uh, Blown Away drops Blown Away drops tomorrow. Uh, Good Girl, of course, is now available on iTunes, doing very well. We thank you so much, thank Carrie you. Underwood. Uh, make sure you buy our album tomorrow. Available everywhere. Uh, albums are sold. <laughs> and uh, you're delightful. Thank you for coming to see us. Thanks for having me. Carrie Underwood. All sorts of fabulous.